in 1992, I got hired by the World Bank to be part of a team advising the Russian government on its privatization reforms. And I came, I was straight out of business school in America, um, straight out of, um, you know, a kind of economics background where we'd been taught very much that you can represent the world in two or three dimensional models on a board and with, with a very clear mandate that we should go to Russia as part of the World Bank and really tell the Russian government, privatise your factories, open up your market, slash your public expenditure and then you will become a reflection of America. And because um, I was at the time junior on the project, I was the person who was actually sent to the factories all over Russia. So I was living in these factories and spending time with workers and managers. And anyone who had spent time on the ground there would have really quickly realized that if we were to privatize all of these state-owned industries, it would come at a huge human cost. And so when I raised this in Washington, I was told, no, oh, don't worry about that. The issue is to take the assets out of the state's hands so that communism doesn't come back. And as for the people, well, the market will sort it out. And I didn't buy that. 